Do you need help pointing your domain to WP Engine using CNAME records? We're here to walk you through it step by step. Correctly pointing your domain is an important step of the go live process because it's what allows traffic to be sent through your domain to your website on WP Engine. It also enables WP Engine to order a free SSL certificate for you and automatically apply it to your website. SSL ensures visitors can connect to your website securely and keeps your content from being blocked by major web browsers. Before we get started, I want to mention that during this tutorial, you will need to log in to your domain provider account. We don't sell domain names here at WP Engine, so this will be a separate provider. If you're not sure who your domain provider is, you can use the Whois lookup tool at whois.com slash whois to find out. Simply enter your domain name, click search, and then you'll see your provider listed at the top of the page under registrar. Also, depending on who your domain provider is, WP Engine may be able to automatically point your domain name for you. This means that if you purchase your domain from a supported provider and you'd like for us to automatically connect your domain, you can skip this tutorial and use that method instead. Now, let's talk about what a CNAME record is. A CNAME is a type of DNS record, or domain name system record, that points one domain or subdomain to another domain. Here's an example. Let's say your preferred domain name is mywebsite.com. But you also want people who type the www subdomain with your domain name to be able to find your website. To make this happen, you can use a CNAME record to point www.mywebsite.com to mywebsite.com. When you do, anyone who types in either mywebsite.com or www.mywebsite.com will find your website. You can also use CNAME records to connect a root or apex domain name, in other words, a domain name like mywebsite.com that doesn't include www or any other subdomain, to a cloud-based service like WP Engine. This technique is called CNAME flattening, and it's what allows you to point your root domain to a CNAME instead of an IP address. To provide the best DNS experience and seamless network connection, we recommend pointing your domain using the CNAME flattening method. However, not all domain providers support this method. If yours doesn't, that's okay. You can use A records to point to an IP address instead because all providers support using them. Why do we recommend using CNAME flattening? Although it's a rare occurrence, IP addresses are subject to change here at WP Engine. This means if you use A records to point your domain to an IP address, you may need to update your DNS later if our IP addresses change in the future. But if you're able to use CNAME flattening, you won't need to update your DNS settings if our IP addresses change. So before following this tutorial, we recommend reaching out to your domain provider and asking them if they support CNAME flattening, so you can use a CNAME to connect your root domain to your website on the WP Engine cloud-based platform. I want to share a note of caution here. Using this method with a provider that does not support it can delay your website's go-live process and disrupt other DNS records and the services that depend on them, like domain-based email. So, it's important to confirm that your domain provider supports CNAME flattening before proceeding with this method. If you've confirmed that your domain provider supports CNAME flattening, you're ready to get started. First, log into the user portal and click Sites in the primary menu on the left. Next, click the site name you want to work on. Then, click Domains in the secondary menu on the left. If you haven't done so already, you need to add your domain to the user portal before you can point your domain name. For now, we'll assume that you've already added your domain. Find the domain you're working on and click the three dot menu next to it. Select View DNS Details and click the copy icon next to CNAME to copy it. Next, log in to your domain provider account 
and find the DNS editor. In this example, I'm using Namecheap, so I need to go to the Advanced DNS page. If you're not sure where your DNS editor is, you can ask your domain provider. Once you're in the DNS editor, check to see if there's an existing A record for the root domain. If it exists, this record will be named something like mywebsite.com or will be using the at symbol and it will be pointed to an IP address. If you see this A record, go ahead and delete it. But be careful about modifying or deleting any other records that already exist, especially MX records, which are responsible for email. Also, it never hurts to take a screenshot before you start making changes in case you need to restore any settings. Now, create a new record and enter the following information. Type, CNAME. Host, at symbol. Value, paste the CNAME from WP Engine. TTL, automatic. When you're finished, click Save. Now, create a second record to configure the www version of your domain and enter the following information. Type, CNAME. Host, www. Value, yourdomain.com. Type your domain name without the www prefix. TTL, automatic. And when you're finished, click Save. Now, you just need to wait for the DNS changes to propagate. Propagation is the automatic process of updating servers across the world to the new DNS information and can take anywhere from a few minutes up to 48 hours. We can't predict exactly how long propagation will take because it all depends on how long it takes each of those servers to update their caches with the new information. This is not something WP Engine has control of. But you can check the status of your domain's propagation at whatsmydns.net. Enter your domain name, select CNAME, and then click Search. When you see all green check marks instead of red X's in the list, your domain propagation is complete. You can also check the status of your DNS on the Domains page in the user portal. If you see a green check mark here, your DNS is correctly pointed to WP Engine. Once propagation is complete, your website will officially be live on WP Engine, and anyone who visits your domain will be directed to your WP Engine powered website. If you have any questions or need additional assistance, check out our support center at my.wpengine.com slash support. You can also get to this page under Get Help. This is where you can search our help documentation and find other helpful resources. You can also reach out to our friendly support team. We're always here and ready to help.